Uh, there was another one I was going to talk about. Oh, where'd my pen go? Um, other thing that an agent can do, we're getting to some of the smaller ones, but is auction. Very difficult to hold a book auction on your own. A book auction is where, um, you know, the, the dream version of book auction is you've got this really hot book, you're a, you're a hot agent, everybody knows you don't send out crap, so you send to 10 top people a book that you say, all right, um, I will hear bids on this coming next week, if, um, and, the, and we're going to go to auction, meaning um, usually what happens is they'll send it to like two or three high-powered um, editors saying, we're going to go to auction next week. You get to look at it early. You can preempt. I think, I think we talked about that. Yeah, Peggy talked about preempting. Mm -hmm. And they can preempt. What, what that does is they then offer a really, really good deal pre-auction. And you decide to take that rather than risking where the auction could go. Because it will be if it goes to auction and nobody makes a bid. That can happen. Um, but if an auction does make a bid, then you can get three or four publishers bidding against one another, and they say, we'll do this for the book, we'll do this for the book, we'll do this for the book, and it can push um, the advance up much higher. Uh, Alcatraz went to book auction. Um, that was more of a silent auction in that um, we kind of didn't do the full, here's what they bid, can you beat it? We said, we've got three people bidding on this, you've got two weeks to come up with your very best bid. Um, and they all bid the same amount. Um, which... Joshua actually preferred because he said, well, we can go and argue them all higher, but I feel like this is what the book is worth, and so we took it. Uh, that's something that Joshua did that I don't think um, many other agents would do. They may have just pushed it higher, which might have been the right move, might not have been. But um, whenever you hear of a new author selling a book for over $100,000, it went to auction every time. I almost, I, I can guarantee that that book went to auction. It might be a really, really nice preempt, which could happen, but I bet that it was auction. And this is something that an agent can do. Um, it's very hard to do yourself because they don't take you seriously. Uh, imagine, you know, you don't have the track record that the agent does, and so sending it to 10, um, 10 and saying, I'm going to put this to auction, they're just going to laugh at you. Um, but... I'm sure someone out there has done it themselves before, but you'd have to have some really good angle or things like that. More likely, you're not going to go to auction on your own. How do agents build up a track record? How do you know if you're getting one that has that? Um, that's a good question. And that's probably where I should go next. Is there anything I skipped? I said we're going to get to that later. You need to do that earning out really. We're going to do that after the whole agent system. Someone asked why you. Uh, why <laughs> oh, why I picked my agent. Yeah. Um, Actually, there is one other thing. So we're going to put a pin in this question too. What was that question again? Why do you want to Yeah. How do you, how's agent? Oh, getting a good agent. Like that. Okay. We'll write those things down so I don't forget them. And let's go to, um, so I want to get this organized by the things the agent does before you decide, so you can decide if it's worthwhile. Um, number six on this list, sometimes an agent will do editorial. This is very common for new authors. It is also one of the things that drives the anti-agent crowd crazy, okay? And so you kind of have to decide for yourself. A lot of agents, when they pick up a new author, will say, okay, um, I will pick you up if you fix X, Y, and Z. We're going to do a draft together, and I'm going to see if you're capable of doing a revision to editorial demand. If you, if you do what I say, I think it'll make a better book, and then I will pick you up. Um, some people really don't like this. Um, their opinion is the, the agent's job is the contract stuff, all this other stuff, and not editorial. And so that they would say that if an agent calls you and says, rewrite it to this, that you should run from that agent. Um, the opposite argument is, well, you're getting a free edit by a pro hopefully professional caliber editor. Um, whether or not they are a professional caliber ed editor will depend on what you think they said about your book, how you felt about their, their comments, whether you think they're worth, if they're going to make the book better, that sort of thing. This is really a nebulous thing. Uh, Joshua, for instance, loves doing editorial. 
every book by any of his authors, no matter how um, important, he gives editorial suggestions on. He does not, however, say you must change this, um, because that's not the agent's job. But he will give advice and feedback. Um, I have heard stories of people getting caught as a new author in one of these things where they've been asked to revise, and they revise the book and send it back, and then they ask for another revision, and you spin your heels for years, rewriting to editorial demands for somebody who can't actually publish the book. Um, and so that's something to be aware of. Um, and that will de determine part of your relationship with your agent, whether you want someone like that. They may call and say, hey, I'm willing to pick this up. By the way, I have a few suggestions I really think you should make. They may say, I will only pick you up if you can fix these things. They may say, hey, I like this book. I'll, um, I'll, I'll take it and sell it. Um, and you're going to have to really just decide what you want. Agents come in lots of flavors and styles. Um, some are high-powered, um, less personal, meaning you basically only talk to them when you have a new contract and a new book or a new book. And you say, here's the book. You send them. Um, they may not even read the book. They may read some of it and your pitch on it and then take it and sell it. They, um, they may read the book and then take it and sell it. But regardless, they view themselves primarily as, I take this, I sell this, that's my job. Um, you may get others who want to call you every week and be the shoulder upon which you cry and talk a lot about your, um, your business and what you're doing with your career and all these sorts of things. Um, it's really going to depend on what type of agent you want. How hands-on, how hands-off. 